Hey there, TV enthusiast. Remember the first time you tuned in to Murder, she wrote. Whether it was the 80s or a recent binge, this classic series has left an indelible mark. A captivating blend of mystery and charm, it follows amateur sleuth Jessica Fletcher as she unravels perplexing cases in the fictional town of Cabot Cove. Now, here's the hook buckle up, because as you watch, you're in for a roller coaster of emotions, funny, shocking, and downright sad facts await you. So why not keep those eyes glued to the screen? Reflecting on murder, she wrote, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience? We're curious to know. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your fellow fans and curious minds would love to hear about your connection with this iconic series. So when was the first time you watched this TV series? Take a stroll down memory lane and let us know. And don't forget to drop your favorite moments, we're all ears. In the world of 80s television, Murder, she wrote, created a unique blend of mystery and charm. Viewers were drawn into the fictional town of Cabot Cove, following the amateur sleuth Jessica Fletcher as she unraveled perplexing cases. This TV series entertained and left a lasting impression on popular culture. During its time, the show received remarkable reception. Audiences were captivated by the roller coaster of emotions from amusing to shocking and downright poignant. The series resonated with a diverse audience, creating a shared experience that crossed age groups. Whether discovered during the original run or in a recent binge murder, she wrote had a special way of weaving its narrative into the memories of its viewers. The influence on popular culture went beyond the screen. Spin-offs emerged, exploring new stories and characters within the murder, she wrote Universe. These offshoots showcased the versatility of Jessica Fletcher's world and proved its timeless appeal. Merchandise became an extension, allowing fans to bring a piece of the show into their lives. From detective-inspired board games to mugs featuring Jessica Fletcher's iconic typewriter, enthusiasts could immerse themselves in the world of amateur sleuthing. The merchandise served not only as memorabilia, but also as a nod to the show's cultural impact. Adaptations and spin-offs were not mere footnotes in the murder, she wrote story. They became integral to its enduring influence. The ripple effect of this classic show extended beyond the television screen, leaving a lasting impression on how audiences engaged with mystery narratives. In conclusion, Murder, she wrote, was more than just a TV series. It became a cultural phenomenon. Its impact during its time and the subsequent adaptations showcased its ability to connect with generations. The show's spirit of amateur sleuthing lives on in the hearts of its fans for years to come. Against the backdrop of the 1950s, a rich cultural and historical narrative unfolded, laying the groundwork for storytelling in the 1984 TV series. Post-World War II America was in the midst of significant changes in societal norms and values. Embracing suburban lifestyles and grappling with Cold War tensions, a sense of nostalgia filled the air. The 1950s was marked by conformity, with traditional family structures taking center stage. This sense of domesticity and societal expectations subtly echoes in the portrayal of Cabot Cove in the show, a seemingly idyllic town where domestic life contrasts with unfolding mysteries. The series skillfully taps into the societal undercurrents of its historical setting, blending the charm of small-town life with the intrigue of criminal investigations. Additionally, the 1950s witnessed the rise of detective fiction and mystery novels becoming a cultural phenomenon. Authors like Agatha Christie and Raymond Chandler paved the way for amateur sleuths, a theme embodied by Jessica Fletcher. The show draws inspiration from this literary landscape, seamlessly weaving classic mystery elements into its narrative. The influence of the 1950s goes beyond thematic choices. The era's cultural nuances, from fashion to etiquette, subtly shaped the characters and settings in the series. Jessica Fletcher's refined yet approachable demeanor, reminiscent of the era's emphasis on politeness, establishes a compelling connection with the audience. As viewers engage with the series, they are transported to a time where societal norms and detective fiction converged. The 1950s, with its blend of tradition and transformation, becomes an intrinsic part of the show's allure. Its ability to capture the essence of this era contributes to its timeless appeal, resonating with audiences across generations. In essence, the TV series leverages the historical and cultural landscape of the 1950s to craft a narrative that goes beyond mere crime solving. It delves into the complexities of a bygone era, enriching the viewer's experience with a nuanced portrayal of small-town life and the timeless charm of mystery fiction.
In the 1984 TV series, Jessica Fletcher took a new direction with her first book, The Corpse Danced at Midnight. This early book set the stage for her future adventures in solving mysteries in Cabot Cove. In the 12th season, the show moved from Sundays to Thursdays, which sparked rumors that CBS programming chief Leslie Moons did it on purpose to challenge the series. However, this move didn't work well, and Moons struggled to find success on Sundays with alternative shows. Eventually, the series aired on both Thursdays and Sundays before going into reruns for the summer. In the fall, Touched by an Angel took over the time slot in hopes of gaining a larger audience. Angela Lansbury took on the role of Jessica Fletcher after other famous actresses turned it down. Lansbury's portrayal became closely associated with the character, marking a crucial moment in the series' casting history. As the show approached its final regular episodes, Murder Among Friends and Death by Demographics highlighted the challenges it faced in its later years. The competition, especially against Friends, led to strategic changes, ultimately transitioning from weekly episodes to television movies. In the world of TV politics murder, she wrote experienced both successes and challenges, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. The decisions behind the scenes reflected the ongoing struggle for viewership and success in a competitive field. Jessica's maiden name, MacGill, pays homage to Angela Lansbury's mother, Moina MacGill, who adopted the acting name. The show introduces another intriguing character, Michael Haggarty, an undercover agent with a global presence, adding depth to Jessica's adventures. Len Cariou, who shared the Broadway stage with Lansbury and Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, also joins the cast. Within Jessica's family, Marshall MacGill, a doctor, is the sole on-screen sibling, while the existence of another brother, Martin, remains unexplored. The narrative weaves in nieces and nephews, enhancing the richness of Jessica's investigative journeys. Grady Fletcher found solace in the home of Jessica and her husband Frank after losing his parents in a tragic accident. This familial connection added a personal touch to the series, showcasing the bonds formed amidst the mysteries unraveling in Cabot Cove. The shared universe of murder, she wrote, and Magnum P. I expanded its narrative horizon through crossover episodes. Jessica's involvement in a case in Hawaii, where Magnum faced framing and Higgins seeking her assistance, added a dynamic twist to the interconnected storytelling. Jessica's unique trait of not driving added depth to her character. Reliant on bicycles, taxis, or the generosity of a vast network of friends, relatives, and acquaintances, this quirk became a distinctive aspect of her investigative endeavors. The story took an interesting turn with Jessica's first book, The Corpse Danced at Midnight, setting the stage for her future mysteries in Cabot Cove. The shift from Sundays to Thursdays in the 12th season stirred speculation, but didn't significantly change the show's trajectory. Touched by an Angel eventually claimed the time slot, marking a transition in the series format. Angela Lansbury's portrayal of Jessica Fletcher became memorable after other actresses turned down the role. As the series faced competition, strategic decisions led to a shift from weekly episodes to television movies, marking a pivotal moment in the show's television history. The incorporation of Jessica's maiden name, MacGill, paid homage to Angela Lansbury's mother, Moina MacGill, adding a personal touch to the character. The introduction of Michael Haggarty, an undercover agent with a global presence, and Len Cariou, a Broadway collaborator of Lansbury, enriched Jessica's adventures. Within Jessica's family, her on-screen sibling, Marshall MacGill, a doctor, took center stage, while another brother, Martin, remained unexplored. Nieces and nephews added layers to Jessica's world, enhancing the complexity and richness of her investigative journeys. Navigating familial bonds, crossover events, and personal quirks, the show continued to captivate audiences, leaving a lasting imprint on television mysteries.